How's it going everyone? Uh, just wanted to give a really quick update on drag and drop. I know it is a feature that everybody has been waiting on and I know I promised it, I believe last release or this release just, uh, just happened. Um, but I, I failed to deliver the, the, the functionality. Um, so I just wanted to update you on what I thought it was going to take and when I thought it was going to be available. Um, I am working on it. Um, I have been planning to work on it. Um, work this week, my actual job, been, or this month has been taking over a lot, but I do have plans to continue working on drag and drop. My hope, not promise, is to get it in before the December release and to potentially announce it at the Home Assistant Conference. Um, now, that's not 100%. I am still working on it. It will be coming to Home Assistant eventually. Um, so what we will do when it does come, it will be in an alpha slash beta. Um, basically, the only way to, to put it into a drag and drop view would be going into YAML mode, not YAML mode, but into your files. If you just go to edit dashboard and then raw configuration editor, you would have to set the type on the view. Um, so that is the only way you'll be able to do it in our alpha slash beta phase. After that, we'll build in the functionality to select it in the UI editor. But that's how it's going to be. When it is in that state, uh, you know, I'll come out with another video and everything explaining you know, how it could break, what the possibilities are. But um, a few things about the direction that I'm going. I, I don't think that we're going to allow just free for all resizing. Um, I think it's going to be more of a select box of small, medium, large, extra large, and we will set those per, on a per card basis. Um, the reason for this is it could cause a lot of issues and it is not a very good user experience um, when creating, when just having everything for a free for all. Now, I know this is going to upset a lot of people, but remember, once I get this out there, this can always be built upon, you know, in the custom grid type. Um, other users can make their own grid type. If this is all available for custom people to do themselves. Um, so once, you know, the base is out there, people can, can run with that and go off of that. Um, second is it has to be ready for, you know, a user who isn't the developer type, like a lot of you guys are. Uh, it needs to be user friendly. It needs to not break. Uh, and that's the biggest thing that it worries me right now. And the biggest reason why it's not finished is, you know, if I drag a card and it, you know, it's here, what if I shrink my browser so that it's a lot smaller, right? So it's at a mobile view. Where do these cards go at that point? And if you guys have any ideas or any um, uh, examples of other cases that you've seen, uh, please let me know in the comments. So that I can get a better, you know, idea of if this card is in the middle here, you know, if I shrink it down, does it take up that space, that extra space? Or do we just keep that space and then move everything down below it into a different row? You know, does it shift in a row so that it's um, more masonry so that it would go, you know, th this bedroom card would now go over to the left or would it go straight down? You know, there's a lot of different variables that go into a responsive grid design. Um, and it, and it's really hard because of the way that home assistant works and the home, the way that our cards work. So it is something to think about. Um, you know, it is coming and we'll get it there. I'll we'll get it to a point where we're, we're, that's where we're going. We're, you know, we'll get it to core. Um, and th that's the real reason that it is taking so long is I want to make sure it is fleshed out and ready to go. Um, also you can see that these sizings we have um scroll bars now on some of our cards and we'll have scroll bars on most of the cards so that it could be smaller but the content inside of it could be taller or longer um so other than that i you know i'm going to be talking to brahm who is the abukasa front end guy uh for home assistant um in the next week or so to talk about his ideas talk about my ideas and kind of come together to a final state of this is where we need to be. This is where we need to go to get it into core. And then we'll, you know, I'll set that up. We'll finish that. It'll be reviewed and then it'll be in there. Hopefully I can get that done before December. Um, 
other than that, you know, all I can say is it is coming. Um, I've been very swamped at work. Uh, but if you guys, you know, really want this to come um, and you want to show some any support, all I can say is, um, you know, subscribe to these videos. And also, I'm going to leave my GitHub sponsors in the uh, com or in the links below the description. Um, if you guys want to check out that, um, I have different levels. But you kind of just show me that other people are wanting this. Also, if you just comment on the video, like the video, tell me that you want this. Tell me you're you know you're really excited about this, just so I know that there's a good amount of people who are ready for this and really wanting this. So, um, but yeah. Awesome. I'll keep updating you guys and I'll keep live streaming whenever I do um, work on the drag and drop so you guys can kind of watch the process, give me any feedback. Um, so be sure to catch those. Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys later.